Hey there, I'm having trouble coming up with new content to create and I thought I'd do something more fun than usual, so instead of me writing something, I figured I'd leave it up to the AI to write something. And since I don't have an iconic catchphrase to start my videos off with, I thought I'd start with some of the iconic catchphrases that other channels have and write a script for them using the AI. I'm going to start with the OG here, Chris Fix, and to get this uh, AI to work properly, instead of just dumping in the short little snippet of what they would normally say, I'm going to expand it a little bit so it has something more to work with and it's not just gibberish. So, hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to... Let's generate some text. That's definitely not what Chris Fix talks about. Okay. Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to color code an unformatted .NET class library DLL. In many cases, it's the difference between having the code work and having it work right. Alright, Chris Fix, uh, definitely a uh, divergence from your normal content, so how to repair this car's, and I'll let it let it figure out what part of the car it's going to repair. This is looking more like it. Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to repair your car's audio system so you can rock it out with your favorite music. First, we'll have you in... First, we'll have to inspect the system. The first step is to plug in the audio cable into the other socket. Next, we'll have to open up the radio and <laughs> remove it. This is usually done with a tool called a lanyard, lanyard bar or a lock bar. And it's basically a thin chain that goes through a small hole that goes to the ignition hole in the dash. Now make sure you're using the proper socket for your cable to fit in. Usually they have a small, okay, this is, this is surprisingly good, but it's also uh, getting a little dry, so. Let's try one more time and we'll move on to the next YouTuber. Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to repair your car's light switch. Originally, the owner installed the fix for this yourself because he didn't know enough about the fix to trust, trust a professional. <laughs> then a streetwise mechanic fixed it again for him a while back. Now it's something that can come naturally for any handyman. Can we, f can we fix these quick switches? It's easy as pie if you know what to do. Watch this detailed step-by-step -step video below or ask me anything in the comments section. Okay, this is obviously picking up on YouTube stuff, but it's also weird that it's saying, hey, watch a video below when you're supposed to be in the video. Okay, let's move on to the next YouTube creator. I'm sure we all know who this guy is too. Okay, rev up your engines. You're watching the Scotty Kilmer channel. Today's question comes from Aaron from Vermont. He asks, Scotty, why don't you like turbocharged cars? Well, Aaron, with due respect, it's not the cars I dislike. It's the forced induction crowd. See, if you let your screaming angels blow without an adding aid, you must chime down to roaring opinionated metaled roar at the time of attempted transsaturation to accounts and adapt to... What is this? Okay, I'm gonna make this a little less creative and try that again. It was amusing how it started addressing Aaron specifically, but, uh, well, it's doing it again. Rev up your engines, you're watching the Scotty Kilmer channel. Today's question comes from Aaron from Vermont. He asks, Scotty, why don't you like turbocharged cars? Well, Aaron, I've never seen one. <laughs> so you'd probably have to drive one to be, to have a sensible opinion. <laughs> I prefer, I prefer cars with VTEC. They seem to rev more efficiently than those spewing puffed up emissions. At least in my limited driving experience. <laughs> tell you what, Aaron, I'll ask my parents. And if they don't tell me, then you'll get a brand new 1987 Trans Am to go on your own. I'm not joking. <laughs> I 
At midweek, we're letting you guys pick up our Daytime Emmy Award for this year's competition. Okay, that was pretty great. I think I'm going to leave it on that one. All right, with Doug DeMuro, his phrase is more of just one word, this. And um, that's not a whole lot to go on, so I had to add, I'm Doug DeMuro, so it's easy to... Uh, oh, I didn't capitalize this properly. There we go. Nope, I don't know. Anyway... I'm Doug DeMuro, and this is the latest offering from Tesla called the Model 3 Performance. It, this is... Okay, this is a little too, like... Okay, stop. This is... All right, maybe it knows too much on that one, so let's just have the latest offering from and let it fill in the rest. All right, this is this is just looking too real. Uh, guess I'll delete more. All right, I'm Doug Demuro, and this is the best trick slash trend I've ever seen. That's right. You won't believe how we made this. It's almost too good to be true. Uh, so I invite you back to the best. I send June giveaway to witness this madness. The Americans do... Okay, this is just... Oh, Fast and Furious. In four Fast and Furious movies, okay. I'm Doug DeMuro, and this is the 2022 BMW 7 Series. It's not every day that a new luxury vehicle launches, but then again, not every car is the latest, greatest BMW of the moment. The newest car in BMW's seven-seat lineup, the all-new 7 Series, has just rolled out of the automaker's Spartanburg, South Carolina assembly plant, making it ready for the road later this year. I got a chance to drive an early sample to our Best Cars test track in Southern Connecticut to get some idea of what it could do. I've already driven it on the Autobahn. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty great. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we've got Engineering Explained on the roster. Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about engines with my trusty whiteboard. As you can see behind me, I have the variety of engines represented on the board. As most of you know, this is the wheelhouse of Ollie. So without further ado, let's get into the world of the F1 engine. The basics of an engine. In the case of a car, the basic components of an engine are carburetors, exhaust valves, clutch, and a frame. <laughs> there are some essential subcomponents that complete the design. The carburetors, for example, ensure that the correct amount of air fuel is supplied to the engine. Yeah. The exhaust valve ensures that the air fuel mix is right. No. And the clutch will work the clutch plate to ensure that the chassis can be moved about. After these vital basic components are installed, these can be operated individually or in a synchronized motion. This means that the engine will only run a set of individual valves per cylinder and at a predetermined rate. This is a great design for the chassis designers to produce consistency between different models while ensuring peak efficiency. This is known as an OHC. <laughs> All right. I think, uh, I think Jason, you need to work on this script a little bit more, but it's in the right direction. All right, I like that engineering explained script, so let's do one more and then we'll wrap up this video. Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about engines on my trusty whiteboard. This particular engine design is quite a simple one and I often get requests for this kind of thing. They can be very useful and they are really cheap. It would be a lot more expensive to invest in a fancy new design and as a bonus, people don't understand it as well. <laughs> this is because complexity increases the price. That's true. The plans for this engine are very simple and straightforward, which makes them easier to manufacture. I'm going to show you how to make the 12 volt square two stage ignition magneto on my whiteboard in this series. Okay, okay. Um, I hope you patent that first, Jason, but, um, I think that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see another one like this, 
I'm open to making it and you can tell me what YouTubers you want me to create scripts for. I had a lot of fun with this and this isn't what I normally make so I hope you enjoyed it too and I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video. Thanks for watching.